This faceless YouTube channel is making $30,000 every month with extremely simple YouTube shorts. In fact, I created 300 of the same YouTube shorts in just 30 minutes for free. In this video, I'll show you how you can use ChatGPT and Canva to do the same, so you can start your own faceless YouTube channel and begin making serious money. But before we dive in, let me quickly share with you the short story of how I came up with this video idea. It's 2 a.m. and there I am, lying in bed scrolling through YouTube shorts, like my life depends on it. I've probably watched every cute animal video at least twice. But just as I'm about to give up and succumb to the sweet embrace of sleep, I come across a video that changes everything. The best girls are always going to be the most difficult. Wow. Just wow. I did what any rational person would do and clicked on the creator's profile to take a closer look. And let me tell you, this person is a true modern day philosopher. And I couldn't help but think to myself, how kind it is for someone to be handing out life-changing wisdom like it's a free sample at Walmart. I couldn't believe my luck. But then I found out that this page makes around 30,000 each month. That got me thinking, how hard could it be to make these kinds of videos? Well, I'm going to show you. Of course, we're starting with ChatGPT. A quick tip. Before starting your conversation with ChatGPT, it is always extremely important to express your gratitude. I mean who knows when the day will come that AI takes over the world and enslaves humanity. Maybe this way, you will be spared and get a cozy job as an AI's personal assistant. Alright now, let's dive into what we're going to do in this video. I want to teach ChatGPT to generate love quotes that fit a specific style, with a first part that intrigues people to hear the second part. To illustrate this, I'll give ChatGPT two examples. For instance, if you really love someone, you have to let it go. Or tie them up in your basement. It's all about perspective. However, I'll leave that out for this video. To make sure ChatGPT understands the assignment, I'll ask it to confirm if it does. Now, I want these quotes to be about topics like love, heartbreak, and friendship, and I'm giving ChatGPT a specific target audience. Let's see if it understands by asking it to provide an example. Great, it seems like ChatGPT understands. One thing to note is that if ChatGPT generates something you like, make sure to let it know. It will pay attention and build on it further. The videos I want to make consist of three parts. A theme like girl or boy facts, the first part of the quote, and then the second part. So, I want ChatGPT to generate quotes in a similar way, with a theme, a first part, and a second part. I'll ask ChatGPT to categorize them in an Excel-like format. This is an important step, and you find out why later in the video. As you can see ChatGPT is still giving me some unexpected themes, so I'll instruct it again to only use the themes I want, girl facts, boy facts, and friend facts. Now that's sorted out, I want to make sure there are some heartbreak quotes in there too. These always seem to hit a nerve with people. I guess it's easier to relate to the pain of lost love than the joys of a happy relationship. Especially, if you've been single for as long as I have. Let's try asking ChatGPT to generate 100 unique quotes. Alright. I will fast forward through this part, but it comes down to the fact that ChatGPT can't generate 100 quotes at one time. After some minor discussion, we came to an understanding, and it was willing to generate 30 quotes at a time. We will also get to 300 this way. It will just take a little longer. And I mean taking the time to keep this AI friendly is definitely more important than rushing through and risking creating a murderous superintelligence that will eventually enslave humanity. So for you people out there, only ask it to do 30, 
and then continue by asking it to generate 30 more until you have the desired amount of quotes. All right, what you now want to do is to copy and paste all the quotes in Excel. And as you can see, I have more than 300 unique quotes generated by ChatGPT. So, let's start making some fancy YouTube shorts with Canva. First, go to canva.com. Then click on mobile video. On the left side, you'll see the design section. Here you'll find various templates to choose from. You can search for templates based on your project. In my case, I'm looking for quotes. Just like the ones that my ex posted on Instagram to make me jealous. As you can see, there are plenty of templates that match my description. But I've already found one that I like. So I'm going back to recently used. The goal is to match the quote style of those YouTube shorts that we watched earlier. So, I'm going to put the theme text like girl facts, boy facts and friend facts somewhere at the top of the screen. The quote itself is going in the middle. And at the bottom, I'm going to add the YouTube channel where the shorts are going to be posted. The theme text needs to be a little bit bigger. However, as you can see, it's no longer centered. A quick tip is to go to position at the top toolbar and then click on center. Let's put in a quote to see how this looks. The quote is difficult to read, so I'm going to add a background to the quote at the effects section again at the top toolbar. You can choose from lots of different colors. However, black works fine for me. The quote also needs to be a bit larger, like this. However, as you know, the quotes are always made up of two parts, just like my ex's personality. So, I'm going to copy and paste this so I have a second text block. I'm going to drag it down a bit for now and copy the second part of the quote here. One thing to notice is that in this template, all the text has animations added to them. For this kind of video, I don't want to have animations. So, I'm going to remove these from all the text blocks. The style of videos I want to make are made up of two parts. The first 9 seconds display the first part of the quote. Then there is a 1 second pause. And then it reveals the second part of the quote, which has a duration of about 1.5 seconds. This is because 1.5 seconds is just a fast for people to read, so they will watch the video again, which gives you a great watch time resulting in YouTube pushing out your video to a lot more people. Next right click on the first part of the quote and select show timing. This will show you the duration and placement of the text in the video. We want the first half of the quote to be 9 seconds long, followed by a 1 second pause. And then we start the second part of the quote at the 10 second mark. The second half of the quote should only take about 1.5 seconds, and then we want the video to end. Drag the end of the video to the end of the second part of the quote. Finally, we want to center the second part of the quote on the screen, and we're done. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. Our video template is ready. Now, here comes the real magic, and it's not the kind of magic you'd see in a David Copperfield show. We're going to insert the database of quotes into Canva, so I can make hundreds of different videos with just a few clicks. Go to apps in the left menu, and search for bulk create. Select enter data manually and clear all data. Then, copy your Excel list of quotes. I'm only going to put in 30 for now, and you will find out why soon, and paste them into Canva with their names. As you can see, we have the first 30 quotes in, so we can click on done. Next, we want to connect the different pieces of text to the correct parts of the video. Right click on the text in the video and go to connect data. Now, select the right piece of data you want to be shown in the text. This part is going to be the theme, so we select theme. To get to the first half of the quote, we have to drag the second part down. For the first half of the quote, we select first part. For the second half, we select second part. Once you've connected all the data pieces, place the second part back in the center of the video, and we're good to go. Now, all parts of the data have a purple check mark on the left, 
indicating that we're ready to generate the video. Click on Continue, and then on Generate 30 Pages. And voila! We now have 30 YouTube Shorts with different quotes. The only downside is that all the videos have the same background. You can change this manually by going to the menu bar on the left and selecting Elements. Here, you can search for different videos and choose the one you like. Click on the three dots at the top of the video and select Replace Background. However, I'm not going to do this 300 times, and I don't need all 300 videos to have a different background. This brings us back to why I didn't generate the 300 videos all at once. Because you can do that. Let me show you a better way. Go back to the previous page and start over at step 1 for Bulk Create. Once again, select Enter Data manually and clear the table. Then, go to your Excel sheet, copy the names of the rows, and paste them into Canva. Now, go back to the Excel sheet and copy the next 30 quotes, paste them into Canva, and select Done. As you can see, all the data pieces have a purple checkmark, so we can click on Continue. But before you hit that Generate button, let's change up the background. Head back to Elements and search for a video that tickles your fancy. Once you find it, click on those three little dots and select Replace Background. Just be warned, the new video will have the same length as the video you selected for the background. So if it's a two-minute video, you're in for a long ride. So when you switch up the background, you'll have to adjust the length again. Now let's head back to Bulk Create and select Generate 30 Pages. 30 more videos coming right up. The joys of video editing. It's like painting a masterpiece, except instead of a brush, I'm using my mouse. And instead of a canvas, I'm staring at a screen. And instead of creating something beautiful, I'm just generating pages of mindless videos with random quotes. Lovely. Now you can head over to Share and select Download. Choose your desired quality and select Download Pages as separate files. And voila, you're done. Now all that's left is to repeat these steps eight more times. And there you have it. 300 amazing YouTube Shorts in just 30 minutes. Let me know what I should do with all these Shorts. Maybe I could post them all in 30 days to see what will happen. Leave a comment down below if you have any ideas. And of course, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe because there is definitely more coming up. Until next time.